Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are back. We are back. We are back. Uh, another amazing week. Uh, we had an, another amazing week. Hit uh, the lock of the week. We went five for five or something like that again on Saturday. We were just absolutely killing it, guys. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Uh, just $5 a month gets you the absolute best uh, gambling advice when it comes to boxing. Uh, it gets the lock of the week. It gets the updated par- uh, the updated. Uh, prop bets that aren't available, like this prop isn't the props on 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 this fight won't be out yet. Um, but join the Patreon link is in the description. Just five dollars a month. Also subscribe to the other town Texas boxing scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Another successful week. Uh, we're gonna get into a, a, a good one. Ismael Barroso and Andy Hiroka. This is a, a really interesting fight. Barroso was, was interesting. He had, he had an interesting run last year. He had the horrible break against uh, Roley in which he had, was winning the fight. He looked to be in great shape. He got dropped. He got back up, and the fight was inexplicably stopped on him. And then, you know, he got a, a big money fight after that with O'Hara Davies in which he was a primitive underdog. And uh, we picked Barroso to win, and he knocked him out in the first round. And that sets up this fight with Hiroka. Uh, I was shocked to see the odds, uh, the way that they were. Barroso was plus 350. I thought the odds were going to be much, much closer to even, but he's not. Hiroka is a, a, an excellent prospect. Excellent footwork. we got wide feet. You know, Controls the range. Creates angles. He's really good. Good pop. Nice straight shots. Really nice straight shots. He's an aggressive, come forward guy. Southpaw, nice, quick jab. He keeps that jab pumping too. There's a lot to like about him. Like I said, the feet are great. He can make you miss with his speed. He's a great athlete, really, really good jab, throws hard, straight shots. He puts his combinations together. And he's got, he puts his combinations. Nations together nicely, and he changes up his combinations. He comes forward. He's a good, uh, good come forward fighter. Good feet, quick, athletic. Takes his shots. He'll, he'll throw heavy shots. Throw uh, throw some big wide shots. Good hand speed. He can land a really really nice uppercut. The rear uppercut is one of his best shots besides his jab. Aggressive, violent lead right hook. He's a complete fighter. He's a power boxer. This is a really, really good-looking prospect. Good feet, good jab, good power, come forward, aggressive. Fundamentally sounds still a bit. Stays responsible. Stays res- responsible. And he takes calculated risks. He gets a little wild sometimes, but his risks are largely calculated. And he believes in his power, and he should believe in his power. I'm going to pull something up real quick. This is a prospect that we like a lot. Uh, 5'11 and a half, so, so good height for a 140. 18 knockouts in 23 fights. This is a, a big a win here, I believe, gets him to where he needs to be in the title picture. This is a big win for Hiroka if he can get it. It's not going to be easy. Barossa, another come forward guy, has big power. Again, Southpaw, he's a puncher. That's what he is. He's a hitter. Big power, sets it up well, uses his jab well. Low punch output, but he's selective and accurate with what he does throw. Nice, educated jab. Not very quick, not very athletic, but he knows all the tricks of the trade. He'll step on your toe and hit you kind of thing. Like he'll step on your foot and hit you. He, he knows the tricks. He's 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 been around the block. It's not his first rodeo. Good power in a straight left. I really like this straight left. Obviously, there's not a lot, a lot of movement, not a lot of head movement. Stays behind a, a high guard. Uh, he can create space. He can create that range with his feet. Uh, but he, athletically and as far as the speed, it's not there. Slow, flat-footed, but that straight left hand. He knows how to throw it. He knows how to land it. His head's on the line. He's going to get hit, but he. He's willing to take one to you know take one to give you one. He's willing to trade. He hasn't. Oh, well, he has been with, with hitters. He's been rolling at O'Hara. He didn't get hit by O'Hara. 
because he ended it so quickly. He's got the power to do that. Burroughs is a real guy. And that's why I don't love the odds on this fight. But they are what they are. And I'm pretty confident in Hiroka to win this fight. He's the prospect. I love the under on this. They don't have any props on They don't have any props on this. But. Well, that didn't work out for me. Hang on, guys. Hang on, guys. Hang on. Am I here? All right. All right. Sorry about that. Sorry about that glitch in the system. We figured it out. Uh, let's pull up the odds here. Let's try this one more time. Hiroki is minus 500. A one times bet only going to make you 20 bucks. It's not great. I like if there's a prop for this fight not to go the distance, I would absolutely take that prop. I'm not sure if we're going to have a prop like that. They don't have anything out like that right now. Uh, but come join the Patreon. Like I said, link is in the description. Just $5 a month. It's also in that little ticket below. $5 a month is going to get you the updated props. If they do drop the props on this, we're going to look at Hiroko by stoppage, but more importantly, the prop to will this fight go the distance? We want to bet no on that. If Barroso wins this fight, he's going to win it by stoppage too. So I, I think there are two possibilities in this fight. A, the most likely possibility, Hiroka by stoppage, or the B, the less likely scenario, Barroso by stoppage. But I think this fight ends within the distance. So I want to, I want to take that bet. I want to bet the prop. Does this fight go the distance? No. Other than that, we're taking Hiroka on the money line. Her I'll bet makes you just 20 bucks. I think these odds are a little wide. They are what they are, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, on all forms of social media. It is September 1st, 2024. From Texas to the world, thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.